So guys, welcome back. Episode three, we're gonna try and find home for a start because we got a little bit lost. Um, we're sort of yeah, we can't find we can't find our spaceship, and we're gonna try and suit up a bit more, kill some more pillagers. Hopefully, we did kill a few, and then we'll start. We'll find the other two as well because um, no, I'm not 100 percent sure where them two got to, but we'll try and find them. We'll try and find home, and we're gonna try and find. Some more pillagers to kill because we need loot. Because the only reason I got nine swords, I found one. We don't even have enough material to make up enough of them for everyone. Uh, and I'm gonna say this now the reason that it's the same t shirt in all the videos is because a lot of these are gonna record on one day because we're recording on a Thursday. I don't record or do anything on the weekends, I spend time with family, so that's why it looks like I haven't changed. Is because a lot of these are being recorded in one day. So let's get back to the other two, and I'm back. I watch your boat any good? You were entering. Yes. Uh, a couple enchanted armors, like leather pants. Better, better, pants, better than nothing. Chinette. We don't really have a lot at the moment. Uh, ten iron nuggets, four emeralds, and three iron ingots. No diamonds, no gold. Nope. Oh, that's what we need to start. We need to start getting a big stack of apples oh, ready as well. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you looking at my stream, John? Yeah, I see another boat in a nice village. <laughs> I'll say this again, because mm -hmm. these videos are going to come out all different days. If you guys want to watch what we're doing live, go to twitch.tv forward slash greensteel1888. You'll see Brian's perspective. I would stream this, but as I said a few minutes ago, these were recorded in one session because I like to take weekends off. Okay. It's the weekend, you've got to. Exactly, it's the weekend. It's when I spend time with my family. I'll go see... People are family. I've got family coming over this weekend because I'm doing a barbecue because British weather. As soon as a bit of sun comes out, we're going to get a barbecue. <laughs> Where's my invite? Mate, if you want to set off now, fucking come along. Nah, because how long was it to walk again? I'll let, I'll let you know what train station to get off. I won't say it on stream because that will really give away pretty <laughs> close to where I live. <laughs> what I'll say is it, it's a train on, that goes on tracks. <laughs> That's the hint people can have. <laughs> London. In London, yeah. Oh, going to go have a barbecue. People know I'm in London. A few people on stream have roughly worked out where I live by shops I've accidentally mentioned when I was on with Dave before. But luckily, they're not close enough to my house to get an exact location. Kelly says she's not going to car with you. Well, you're getting on a train. I'm not picking you up. And also, Kelly, you wouldn't fit. You wouldn't fit in my car. And that's not me. That's not me using a fat joke. My car only has two seats. You're not fitting his car. Only has two seats. He's not meaning it that way. Kelly, I'm he's, not. I've got two seats. This guy's only, this guy's only got two seats. He's one of the type of people. What do you mean one of them type of people? How, Kelly? Because I took the back oh, seats out for weight reduction. Drivers. I took the back seats out for weight reduction. Oh, Jesus, man. When your car can push 180, you take the back seats out to get another five mile an hour out of it. Weight reduction. Yeah, huh? my car could go about 20 miles an hour faster if a skinny person drove it. <laughs> but as I said before, I like food, so fuck it. Do you know what I don't understand yet? Yeah. It's people have a problem with, yeah. with fat people these days. I can say this because I'm fat. I, I don't give a fuck. I never have, never will. But, like, mm -hmm. like 40 years ago, or, or, back in your day, Brian, people couldn't afford food because cheap food wasn't a thing was it there wasn't places like Lidl for people who haven't got a huge income to go get a load of cheap food mm. like say I've only been in the Lidl once and that's out of curiosity there's not there's not one near me for about 20 miles so it was out of curiosity I went in one so I'm not traveling 20 miles for a shot when there's a Tesco in five minutes mm. but back then there wasn't cheap affordable food so a lot of people didn't have three meals a day or two meals a day or whatever you wouldn't believe it, I have one meal a day, but I wake up in the afternoon, eat, stream, or record, and then have a snack at like four in the morning before I go to sleep. I have caught up to you two, because I've just found a craft table. This is where you gave me food, Brian, after I nearly died at the oh, witch. Oh, I drowned. Brian, I've got all the way back to where I got the witch stuff. Accidentally got there. <laughs> I wasn't even aiming to. How did you drown, Tommy? Right, Brian, are, no, you, no. are you near it, Brian, or where he died? No. No, 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 he's where. I was at uh, two sea temples. Yeah, I can't get your stuff back for you. I've got no way of teleporting it. See, if I, if I was on PC, I could teleport you to your last known coordinates, but no, console doesn't do it. <laughs> not yet, anyway. No, not until Bedrock's in. And even then, you're not going to see any different in your game on console. 
It's going to look the same, play the same, yeah. apart from you'll have realms. Hmm. But it's the mods I can run <clears> on a PC. And then invite to PlayStation. I haven't cut it. Oh, I don't. Look, I was hungry earlier, yeah. Like I couldn't work out what I wanted, so I haven't eaten yet. Never. It's one of them days. And since none of us are near a bed, I'm just going to... Um... <coughs> <laughs> fix that. I didn't see that. Just fix that. I'll edit the little text out of my videos. <laughs> I'll just change it to Green Still Died. And then in brackets, <laughs> again. And then when you, I'll do it again. Again, again. Just keep going again, again, yeah. again. I don't know why I'm taking the berries off the bush. I can destroy the bush. I'm not going to come back for the berries, am I? A quick food supply. Alright, we need to try and regroup. At some point. Yeah. Well, I'm back at the base. Ow, 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 ow. Stuck in a bush, stuck in a bush, stuck in a bush. So. Right, Brian, what are you doing? Are you... You are on ice fields. I've just seen. I don't know why I fucking asked. Yeah. I've, got your, I've got your screen <laughs> up here. Should I show something over? I don't see something. Wait, is it? Wait a minute, we'll go back to base, try and kit up, and then we'll go find some more pillages and fuck that shit up. Yeah. I'm working on... Uh, that's the boat we did earlier. I'm really almost back at base. I've somehow backtracked without looking. Because I wanted to explore more. You're pretty good at that. I know, it happens a lot. I'm back at the village as well. Oh, unless that's a different village. You don't want to know if smoke. Right, I just had a five to give you. Kelly, yeah, you, Kelly, you, Kelly, at your age, you shouldn't be smoking. It's bad for your lungs. You're getting old now. Come on. Everyone, assu everyone assumes I'm I'm old until I talk. Then I sound like a kid again. But everyone always assumes I'm a lot mm. older than I am. Uh, I found a different village. Yeah, I'm at a different village now. Hopefully, I can find some hay because I don't have a lot of. No, I'm on another boat. Yeah, everybody always assumed I was old until I started talking in videos. I've got a clock. We'll keep that. We... Yeah. People thought I was old until I started talking in videos. And then they got even more confused when they saw my face because they think, he looks like he's in his mm -hmm. 40s. He sounds like he's 10. Yeah. And I'm neither of them fucking ages. I'm 11 and a half, actually. Stony <laughs> Diamond. Good lapis. You know what the worst uh, part is? It's when I go to a shop, get ID'd, and I'm looking at it thinking, you've just got out of school, dickhead. Don't fucking try that shit. <laughs> just give me what I'm fucking you. coming for. You've never been ID in your life, old man. When, when, you, oh, when, me, when you were my age, smoking in pubs was still a thing. You could go in there and buy it. I can't say what I'd normally say for the smoking, because apparently YouTube filters out as a bad word these days. Yeah. You're probably right about that one. <laughs> I'll be honest, Brian. In my day, in my day, fuck, I just sounded old. In my <laughs> lifetime, is what I was trying to say. Smoking was allowed in pubs. There is a nightclub in London. I don't know if it got shut down yet, but you used to be able to smoke in there. They used to not give a fuck. But but I'm a responsible adult. I I have just changed your job, haven't I? Because I just stole your brewing stand. My bad. I'm a good member of society. I do not smoke, drink. Or anything. I definitely own in between these recordings being smoking because that is bad for your health. You shouldn't do that. Doctors will get angry at you if you do that. I know because I had a fucking conversation with mine today about it. Every time I go in there, he's still smoking. No <laughs> shit. What I should start doing to him when they ask that is go, are you start, are you still breathing? See what response I get there. Stop asking me dumb questions. <laughs> Clearly, now I still smoke. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. And I could say, oh, it's stress and that. It's not. Some people just smoke because well, that's what they've done all the time, I guess. Mm. I don't see anything wrong with smoking, per se. I'm not endorsing smoking. I'm not endorsing taking drugs. But <laughs> you got to have some fun in life. Yeah. I, suppose, I would say doing drugs does no harm to you, but <laughs> look how I turned out. Fucking hell, drugs, do, drugs are bad for you. Depends but, which ones you talk about. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a drug I haven't tried, which is not something you should be proud of. But I'm not. I'm not. If, if someone said to me, "Would you?" If I if they think about doing drugs, and they came to me and said, "Would you suggest me doing this?" I'll be like, "You got to think of it two ways." I could say no and be a hypocrite, hmm. or I could give you the wrong answer. 
but be honest. Am I, the wrong answer would be saying yes to do it, because out of honesty, it is good fun. <laughs> so I can't be a hypocrite and say, no, don't do drugs, kids, don't drink, don't do this, don't do that, because I've done it. Hmm. And uh, Yeah, it, it, it's fun, I'm not going to lie. But it's not good for you. You shouldn't do it. Definitely shouldn't do it as regular as I was, which is almost every day. Drinking and drugs. Don't do that, that's fucked up. You, you're fucking your life up, you're throwing your life away. If you're young, you got a bit of spare cash and you want to experiment and have a laugh, my honest advice is, yeah, go for it, be a laugh with it. Just don't go too far. They say, they say weed's a gateway drug, yeah, bullshit, it's not. I know people who have smoked weed since they were 12 and wouldn't touch another drug, that only ever smoke weed. It's not really a gateway drug. Of course it can lead to other drugs because you're around drugs all the time, then yeah, of course it's a gateway mm. drug. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong with it. A lot of people on the internet lied here to make themselves look better. I'll tell you the truth. Drugs are fucking fun, mate. Some of the best stories I've got in my life have come from drugs and drinking. I'm honest, I don't care. Yeah, I, I fucked up, did loads of drugs. It's not good for you. Well, that's fucking fun. Would I, if I had the chance to go back and do it again, would I? Too fucking right, I would. As I said, some of the best fucking times of my life, I was fucking stoned out of my head. Hi, a kite. You only love horns. Sucking unicorn horns. Take that how you fucking want. I don't give a shit about that one. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I knew that was a fucking bad one to say. And if, you, if you're one of these fucking bellends, we'll call it, because I can't use other words because YouTube doesn't quite know what bellend this term is at the moment for some reason. If you're one of these people who says, oh, anybody who does drugs, drugs is a bad person, look at all your fucking most favourite athletes. Nate Diaz, cage fighter. Smokes weed in press conferences. Mm. No one batters an eyelid. Yeah, I saw that. A guy, a guy who's working a nine-to-five job as, as a joint as a way of relaxing at the end of the week. Oh, he's a fucking crackhead junkie. No, it's the same shit, mate. Just because Nate Diaz is a celebrity, it doesn't mean he can get away with shit. It just people see him differently. Oh, he's someone good. Oh, he, he wouldn't give us a bad role model, would he? No, definitely not. Look at Conor McGregor punched an old man because he wouldn't try his fucking shit whiskey. The whiskey shit dickhead, no one wants to fucking try it. And you know what's funny? That old man lasted mm. longer than some other people that Conor McGregor's hit. He's an old man, yeah, wasn't even know. paying attention. Conor McGregor hit him, the guy didn't even batter an eyelid, he just turned around and carried on drinking. That shows how much of a That's bitch a Conor McGregor's it. become, did it? They hit an old man, the old man was like, eh, never mind, I should get back to my drink. You're not tough, Conor McGregor, if an old man's just done that. Yeah, you're a cage fighter, you could probably kick the living shit out of me, I'm not going to deny it. But an old man took your hit and was like, yeah, that's nothing, kid. He's looking at you thinking, I went to war against scary people and this, you're punching <laughs> shit. You know, it only took three episodes, it's going a weird direction. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot quicker than normal. No, a bit. no an hour and a half, that's about right, isn't it? When I'm streaming it, you just actually when I stream it, it takes about ten minutes. As soon as someone joins the party and asks to suck their dick, that's usually when it goes weird. And you've never declined, Brian. You're such a gentleman. You did decline the fingers up the arse. <laughs> Do you know one day when I'm old, if I make it old, I'm gonna look back at this and think, "I was a fucking idiot." If if I ever have kids and they watch this shit, I'm like, "Listen, kids, don't become me." If anybody asks, you don't even know who I am. You want a fucking good start of this shit. <laughs> you don't want to turn out like me, playing with an old man. That sounded wrong before I even said it. <laughs> Play, playing with granddaddy online. He only asks for pictures every now and again. It's okay. He told me not to tell my mommy. What's your address again, Brian? <laughs> Please will be there soon. <laughs> I'm so lost! I was making my way back and. You got carried away. Yeah, I found a village and just kept going. Wait, Brian, should we go back to base? Eh, uh, I'm working on it. Alright, oh, I'm back at base. Ah. Shh! Jesus, did Shh. that! <laughs> didn't see anything. <laughs> didn't see anything. Hello, it's a party. Oh, by the way, Brian, I've got over a full stack of bread on me. Nice. I found hay. Have you been planting potatoes already? Yeah. So we've got. Yeah. What's this chest? Food. I've got your best friend. 
Right, there's some raw potatoes there that can end up going. I oh, got some bamboo. Yeah, that's a food chest. Bamboo. Oh, bamboo. There you go. There's 45 bread in the food chest as well. 46 even. I can't count. Um, I don't know what came out of there. Do we have an? Do we have an ore chest? Uh, not yet, no. Right, okay. I'm working on that. That's fine, it's long enough. Slowly working on the base. <laughs> Alright, we had a lot of coal in another furnace. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think it's in the... the yeah, there's six, in, six coal in the smoker. That's right, I'll take it out of this one. And what I'll do, I'll move all this over. Real quick. Alright, we need to sleep because then things will spawn because I keep changing it today and it's... Not resetting the cycle. Yeah. Things in the sky that kill us. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, the... I don't know, in fact. I just need to get to your bed, Brian. <laughs> he, he, he has to get close to me. He has to give me my good night kiss every time. <laughs> Not as bad as you, what you used to, Brian. You always just try and top and tail with me. Too my there. <laughs> top and tail ain't dirty. You remember that as a kid, don't you, Brian? No, that sounded... Yep. Misplaced. <laughs> oh, this is all it takes. These torches can be broke oh, if people God. want to build more, but I'm just going to sort of some light over here. Can you shut up, you stupid traveller? Yeah, sure the crap up. Oh yeah, Brian, I bought I bought a new furnace. Yeah. I robbed a blast furnace. Well I'll do when we get enough iron I'll make all the auto furnaces and I think so it does it all for us. But I'll build we two. Have 32 ingots and twenty three nuggets. Oh there's another sixteen ingots and another eight nuggets. <laughs> yeah, but I want you you two are gonna want better swords than that, because I've already found an iron one, didn't I? So you two will probably want better hmm. ones. But when we get a good supply of iron, I'll make auto furnace, auto cooker. Or I'll just pretty much make everything auto so I don't have to do any work on it. Yeah. It is handy. I'll, I would try and work out the auto separator again, but I really could not remember how that would work. <laughs> Here's what to do an observer. Obser Fuck me. English. Yeah, observer. observer. Observer with hoppers and switches. I just threw a torch for no fucking reason. <laughs> but it's been a long time since I've done that sort of redstone. So our chests are just a bit all over the place at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to dump a load of this random shit in here for now. Oh, I've got a brewing stand and a cauldron as well. Oh, I brought back some more armor as well, if you two want some armor. I don't know if any of it's any good. Yeah, armor and... Wait, I've just lost my helmet. Oh, I'll put it in the chest pack. Yeah, crush it, bind and... Oh, no, I fucking hate curse of binding shit. Why didn't that not switch? So I've got... Crush of vanishing on. Uh, that means it'll disappear when you die. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, anybody want my sunglasses? Where are sunglasses? <laughs> um, Brian, <laughs> you ready? I can. We can all. We can already do. Ruin. Yay! Already got all the stuff out. How? How what? <laughs> Oh, you, Never mind. you see, you see, I play this game differently. I aim not to build anything and find everything. So when I go into a village, I take Just everything. I take torches, <laughs> bells, blocks of wood out the houses if I need a piece of wood. As little work as possible is my my sort of aim <laughs> on this game. Yep. That's how I like it. Come on, bro! I always come up with loads of shit, though, don't I? Usually fishing rods for you. you. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah. When I died, did anybody find my fishing rod? No. Uh, no. That's fine, I'll just make a couple. I didn't accidentally put it somewhere, though. Actually. I wish you could have been. Nothing interesting. <laughs> no, that's why I left him. But if we leave it long enough, a new one will come. Yeah. Oh, sounds fine. Music discs already. That's handy. Uh, oh, I need. I want to test a theory. Now, but. I watch it and don't listen to the video. But 
I think I'm right and this will work. So I need wood, Brian, put your trousers down. Oh no, I want hardwood, not softwood. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I just went and got wood of me fucking have wood. Do we have sticks? No, I just used them all. There's a surprise. Do I need to make a shovel before a boat? I do, don't I? Yep. Yeah. Nothing. I've worked out. Right, now, this may have been a fake picture. Uh, it would surprise me because I, I don't really read anything. But I think I'm right in doing that. Motherfuckers lied to me. <laughs> and now I can't remember how to get out of the boat. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> How did that not work? Oh wait, do I need to crouch to do it? Uh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Um, there you go, we now have an ore chest. <laughs> Get rid of that extra chest I just made. Let's take that, that. Who keeps... Brian, I know it's you, because you yeah. do it in all of our fucking servers. Can you stop putting coal in or with ores and just put it in a furnace? Okay. You keep doing it, you do it on all the other servers, and I have to go behind you fucking sorting it out. <laughs> so the main are kicking in, leave me. <laughs> now, I didn't have to say anything for that joke. Yeah, it still happened with an old joke. That's impressive. We need iron, lots of iron. Alright, shall we go look for some more shit to steal? I have so much fucking shit in me. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Rest I'll keep. <laughs> Alright, we went that direction last time, didn't we? Yeah, great, yeah, great talk, we'll go this direction this time. We'll go that direction next. So we're going that way. Hmm? Yeah. Not quite yet, though. We'll get some more work done on it first. Alright, I am going to steal all of the iron. Real quick. Well, I say real quick, you're not getting it back. Is what's really going to happen. Mm. I want to smash you. Brian, can you do me a favor? Can you make me one, two, six chests? Thanks. Specifically six. That's a lot of chests for this. Do we have enough food? Just warm my balls up. <laughs> don't want cold, cold balls. Mm. Alright, since this one's just going to be a furnace, Brian, you can take one of the chests off because the ores can just stay in the chest when they're finished. Okay. Just one cornetto. Mm. Show me your penis. Many of you need this? Five now, please. Thanks, babes. Love you. Long time. No see. Don't matter. Do you for? I need five! <laughs> oh, it's not appropriate. No, don't be a fucking dick. I haven't got an axe. <laughs> I lied, I have. I was just being lazy. Wait, is that empty? Yeah. Stop fucking around, dickhead. I'll fuck you up. Why have you put them all everywhere? Oh, that was an actual <laughs> chest. That was fine. Alright, so I've done one. So I need to make. Alright, we've got 36 left over. Why? Alright, so I need one. Um, like that. 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 There you go, the auto furnace is really finished. Cool. Just waiting on the last two chests. Then it'll be done. It to be done, it to be done. Eventually I'll do the... thing. Yeah. That would have yeah, Maybe you need this one here. Uh... Two chests, please. Oh. Top and bottom. Top and side, even. Oh no, one. Yeah, I've got one on me, I didn't realise. Why didn't that stack earlier? 
Throw it. I can't catch. <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't think that through, did I? Mm. Oh, I need to get up there. <laughs> oh. So, Cole goes in the side, remember Brian? Yeah, Cole in the side, all's mm -hmm. in the top, then they'll drop down, then they'll finish into this part. There you go, that's that done. We need a name for the series. Twats do Minecraft, I think is a good one. <sighs> Mentally challenged orgy? That sounds like a rock band, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you could call it playing my grandkids, Brian, but that sounds pervy either way. I'm going to change my YouTube name to Big Dick Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> you got confused why you got hit then, didn't you, Brian? <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> Run up behind you again. Always behind you, babes. There, so we have some light. There you go, the old chest in front of all that weird contraption. It looks bigger than normal, doesn't it? Like I've done something wrong. Mm. But it's not wrong, it works. Mm. It works, so it can't be wrong. Oh, because <laughs> I normally drop it down. I have the floor, the chest in the floor normally, don't I? Yeah. That's why it looks a lot bigger, but it's fine like that. It works the same. Who put, who put these doors on? I'm going to have to take them off. I did. That's fine. You already know why, don't you, Brian? Yep. Uh, I don't. OCD. Uh, that thing. That to be on a certain way or it drives me insane. It's not It's not a thing weird, don't worry. I just like them put on from the outside. Yeah, that one's fine, Brian. <laughs> I just, I don't know why. Every, no matter what I build, it all has to be the right way around. Yep. Just a few more of these out. Go away. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's probing time. <laughs> I'm watching it on the fucking screen. <laughs> it's, it's, it's probing time. I'm an alien. <laughs> so, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. We've got a bit more work done on the base. We kind of cheated getting back, but there's no way we're ever going to find each other. <laughs>